Hey guys, Golf Nerd here. I got several questions from my DIY sim build video about how to run multiple displays on GS Pro, and I thought I'd just do a quick how-to video on how to do that. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to launch GS Pro, and as you'll see here, I've selected display number two. So right now, GS Pro is opening up on the projector and I'm going to pull up. Okay, so here's the, the flight scope launch monitor information and I'm going to launch the advanced. So this is your club data that GS Pro gives you. Now I'm going to go to settings, display, and you can see I have two unique displays set up. Um, if I hit identify, it tells you which one is which. So right now what you're seeing is display number two. And in order for these two displays to work independent of one another, you have to set this setting right here, extend these displays. If I click on that, you'll see you can duplicate the displays or only show on one or two. Uh, duplicate would just obviously have the same image on both. By extending the displays you can drag things from one to the other so what you'll do is you'll set it up with extend these displays and then the other thing I want to point out is as I click on the two displays if you look down here at the settings you'll see that the settings change so right now for display number two the scale is set at 250 percent display one is at 150 percent so whichever display you choose, the settings down here below will all relate back to the set to the display that you've chosen up above. So let's go back to two. I'm going to minimize the screen real quick. As you can see, here's the club data again. So I'm going to go back to settings and I'm going to change that to 200 from 250 to 200. You see how the screen got smaller. Now if I go back to this, now you can see how it's smaller again. Uh, so you could continue to play with that if you wanted your launch monitor uh, screen and your club screen. You could find a setting that would allow you to put both side by side. But that's not the way I like to have it set up, so I'm going to go back to settings. Well, let me show you one other thing as well. I'm going to minimize this real quick. If you grab the corner of this screen, you can change the size of the window, but it doesn't stretch the information within the window. GS Pro is unique in that way. I'm not sure why it works that way, but the only way I know to make this bigger is to change the scale. So again, this is smaller. I go back to that scale value and I go to 250. Minimize this screen again, and now you can see it's basically filling up the screen. So that's how you run two displays. That's how you can resize this. The only other thing you need to be aware of is in order to run two displays, you're going to need to run a dedicated video cable to each one of these displays. So uh, an HDMI cable to, to each display. That's how I have this set up. However, a lot of video cards, in fact, the majority of video cards only have one HDMI out. While you're shopping for a video card, either specifying a computer or building one, you can look for a video card that has two HDMI outs, but if you can't find one, they will have another uh, output called a, a, a data port. And on Amazon, you can find cables that go from data port to HDMI, and I will link to one in the description below so that you can see that. Um, Hopefully you got some value out of this. Hopefully I've addressed the questions that I received. If you did get some value out of this video, I'd really appreciate it if you could hit the like button. It gets my videos out in front of more people. And if you haven't already subscribed, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. That way you'll know when I release Doom material about GS Pro and some of the other reviews I have planned. Uh, I'm really going to start to focus in on the whole sim process since I've got my studio set up now. So you're going to want to be subscribed. Well, that's it from the Golf Nerd. Hit them long and straight, and I'll see you next time.